And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki Cianciarulo. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week, we're going to go to the last frontier, the wild, the untouched. Alaska. <laughs> you know, Terry Overly of Pioneer Outfitters invited us up, and, you know, he said, you guys, I, I really want you to experience this. I want you to see what Alaska's all about. And, and I've got to tell you, it took us a long time together, you know, to finally get up there. And to be up there in Alaska, you just, for any of you out there who have, you know, who hunt, who travel in the outdoors, who do things, you know, with the family, when you hear the word Alaska, I mean, your, your, your soul tingles. It's like, oh, huh? oh, I mean. Oh, yeah, you're, you're just thinking, this, that's something that if you ever get the opportunity to, to reach out and obtain, you need to do it. Oh, wow. I mean, it just, and, and don't go there just thinking that, oh, you know, I've, you know, I got to take this, this species it's or this the animal. the whole adventure that's up there. That's it. Go up there with an open mind and almost like a sponge. You know what I mean? Because you're going to, you can absorb so much and, wow. I mean, I, I've, I, I've, oh. I've heard that your mind was kind of spongy. <laughs> Anyways, this is part one of part two for our Alaska quest. And we just want you to sit tight. Relax and just check out the Alaskan fo footage. <laughs> For anyone who has ventured into the timber, climbed a hill, crossed a mountain creek, you'll know what these week's shows are all about. The mystique of one of our truly wild states, Alaska, has touched so many in different ways. It has been a dream of ours to journey across this true last frontier in search of big game we've only seen photos of and read articles and books on. To sit on a ridge and look up to glaciers and watch the water carve its way through the landscape. To see sheer cliffs that protrude out of the earth and form massive shale slides across this land. Nothing we have seen or been to can touch the pure awesome feeling of being here and witnessing it with your own eyes. To be here is a dream for so many, and yet so few are blessed to personally see, feel, and be touched by this great land and the people who call it home. Well, this is it. We're heading to Alaska, and we're taking you all with us, but you got to understand something, folks. We talked to Terry Overly from Pioneer Outfitters, and he did say that bow hunting doll sheep in his area is going to be very tough. Um, and added the pressure, or not the pressure, but added the uh, a cameraman too, trying to get within bow range. So something that we have never done, and that is we're we, we, we actually sighted in a TC 280, um, brand new caliper, you know, for Thompson Center, and we shot it. We had expert advice from Larry Wiseum, and I mean a bunch of other guys. Um, Dave, who, who's local here, he, he helped us out, and well, we packed a lot of gear. You never know what you're going to forget, what you're going to need, but Alaska, here we come. You know, first what we're going to do is we're going to go talk to 40, mi 40 Mile Air, who takes you from Toke up there. We're just going to get everything arranged, and well, we want to show you what all it takes to go on a great Alaska adventure. So let's go see what's happening with 40 Mile Air. I mean, if he wants to go Bray, and then I'll we tell you what's going on. Do out, really typical. Ones, that's the ones we want to get out. Rain, everyone's talking about, you know, trying to get out because uh -huh. of, of the fires. And Dave was actually going to show us the situation. This is an older map from August. But you can see right in August, early, they already had lost 986,000. 379 acres and that's they said it's well over a million folks we can't stress you enough that when you come on more wilderness area you know wilderness hunts you've got to be prepared mentally that just sometimes it's not going to happen it's not going to be a you know a scheduled situation so remember that and we'll see what's going to happen here shortly well, we just got the call. We are getting ready to pack up our gear in the airplane and take off to Shoshana. They just did our weights, and looks like we'll have to go weigh ourselves, too, and pack up that red plane over there and head out to Terry's. First morning, we're in Shoshana, Alaska. We're in the basin before we start heading out on the horses for 
dull sheep and possibly grizzly here with Terry Overly of Pioneer Outfitters and I'm gonna tell you it just it's gorgeous Me. <coughs> <laughs> It's all right. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now that the horses are all packed up, we're going to hop up on them and ride into camp. Keep a hold of that one there. Ah, where'd my rope go? I'm glad you left it. Way over there. Take it. Take it. Take it. Okay, take it back. Keeping.
Don't touch that remote. Archer's Choice will be back in a minute. I don't know about you, but grizzly hunting with a bow and arrow? <laughs> I gotta see more. They left. Yeah. But that's okay. That's pretty cool. We got 62. Yeah. But when they were actually at 62 where I could get a shot with their broadside to me, yeah. I had a lot of willows yeah, in the way. Yeah, I saw that. I turned around and, and I couldn't. I didn't have a and shot there. And, in front of Ralph. and Ralph said, "Come on in front of me." And then I still didn't have the shot. And <sighs> well, I was hoping me standing up there too would make him stop. Know, yeah, hesitating. look at me, you know. But, but considering we saw them way down there fighting up on this ridge, yeah. And then we did a stalk, and they bust us down below. Scotty and Brian stayed down so that we could just finish the stalk. And today's tech tip is sights. You've got that trusty sight you've been shooting for years. You've spent a lot of time on the range. There's a lot of new sights out there. It's time for a new one. Here's a quick, easy tip to save you time on the range. Take the old sight, lay it down on a piece of paper, mark each individual pin on, on that paper. Take your new sight, lay it down over across the piece of paper, adjust each pin to match the gap of your old sight. When you go out to the, out to the range, gang adjust your sight for 20 yards, then when you go to your other distances, it'll be just minor adjustments. That's your tech tip of the week. Spotting a sheep. Grizzly bear come running across the river. We're gonna find a week, see if we can stalk up on them.
Don't go away. Archer's Choice is coming right back. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's continue on with our grisly experiences. Watch it, mister. Well, Amber, thank you. You're going to have another chance. I messed it up. It was 57 yards? Yep. Yep. Well, he's out there somewhere. He went running and... We might just cross his path. Yeah, that was an awesome stalk. It was fun. We did good. Yeah, we did really good. I mean, good. we were way down on the river. I mean, we covered... Heck, if you cover that, that's got to be 200 yards running through that brush trying to get up here on him. And he Silently. kept going higher and higher and higher, and we're just like, this is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And, and then we thought we could sneak around this side to mm -hmm. see him, and all of a sudden you're walking through, and all of a sudden Ruff's like, and he just looked over that rock, and we thought, oh, no, here he is. And then he started doing that mock stuff. And uh -huh. I'm sure my biggest thing was when I released, I wanted to see where it went, and I just dropped my bowl that way. And Well. Have another chance. <laughs> I suggest we get back down there where the horses are at before it gets dark. <gasps> oh. I know. All that hard work and, you know, you get up there and you get caught up in that moment and that bear was mocking us. I mean, just charge. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Nikki, I got to tell you something. I know a lot of guys that wouldn't have been able to even draw a bow. I mean, I was I, really proud it, of what it, you did. It, you was, it was uphill. Should have practiced a little more on that maybe. And uh, he was mock charging us and... And I wanted to see where my arrow went, and my arrow went right where I put it when I dropped my arm. Where you and it dropped. Went, low and to the and left. The arrow went low to the left. I think it went right in back of him or right right in front of his back leg. I, you know, it was so hard to tell, but, I mean, he just... Oh, he hurried out of there, too. In a way, it's good that he went the opposite way just yeah, because... Yeah, not down uh, at me. I only had a camera, and, and yeah. the way you were shooting, <laughs> I might have been eaten. I mean, I don't Man, know. Man, that's not even right. But listen, I mean... Vicky. Hey, it happened. It was an adventure, and, and it's something that I won't soon forget. You better not. But we want to remind you that next week we're going to do our doll sheep hunt. That's it. And so you need to remember to come back next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on The, on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.